pitch. Well, he's in good form. He's been playing every day and for a lot of hours each day. And this is the ninth day, so he's definitely found his speed on the tables and his smoothness with his stroke delivery. You could tell by that safety he made. He was able to hook Jimmy White or Jimmy Wedge so that he had to kick at the two ball. And if you throw in, uh, is he warmed up? Uh, we'd have to say he is because he's played like eight matches yesterday. And the other guys, I'm sure, aren't playing that many. You know, and in one way, you could say it'll tire you. In another way, you could say he is in rhythm right off the go. You know, and they may not be. Well, we, we haven't been able to see yet because Jimmy White, uh, uh, Wetch hasn't had a chance to uh, do anything so far. Another thing that favors Efren is that he's played quite a few of his matches up here uh, on the TV table because he sells videos. So they put him back up here where we can right. all right. observe he's, him. He's been playing, but, but, in, but in all fairness, it's the way to do it because you can fit more people in this enclosed area in the stands and they want to watch Efren. So uh, he sells videos. Uh, the people want to see him. Uh, and plus, it's like semifinals and final matches. I don't know if he hit this hard enough. He's not going to fall on the three. You know, he may be able to hit the edge, but he can't make it for sure. He's very good at manipulating the balls to his advantage, even from uh, less than ideal positions. And safety plays like this is an aspect of the game that he excels at. He might be kicking this. I think he's curling the cue ball around, perhaps. Oh, is he? Oh, maybe he is. Yeah, he did and made the, the ball. Look at the spin with those multiple dots on the cue ball. You could really see he was very close to being able to make that. And then just, just a little bit of a hook produced yeah, by some right-hand English Great and shot. slight elevation. He was able to pocket that ball. That's what I'm talking about right now about Efren. He's going to not only get out the easy racks, he's going to get out the tricky ones. Well, he's got a tough little tester coming back. Well, the thing about this is he just has to make the ball. The position is there. And I noticed with this stance, look at he's adjusted his cue. Pocketed the ball. He's adjusted his stance some since the last time I've seen him play a couple of years ago. Well, I'll tell you what. I've been watching him now for uh, 18 years and uh, maybe even more. It might, be, it might be more than that. First time I saw him was in 84. It's 2004 already. Oh, my God. Where did the time go, Mark? Well... <laughs> but anyway, he is playing as hard right now as I've seen him play in 20 years. He's, he's giving no quarters at all. He gets a shot and out. The beauty of uh, Efren is that he is an artist, and he does not play for the money. He plays for the love of the game, where some of the guys, when they get to that stature, upper-level pool, Money becomes the Excuse preponderance me, of their uh, Do you know goal. that, or is that your opinion, that he plays for the love of the game? Have you interviewed him and heard him say that? Yes. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I try not to dispense myth here, Danny. Huh? Great. Great. Because I, I always love first-hand stories, first of all. I don't like when someone heard it from this guy. And all. I like first All my stories are first-hand. So, in other words, that's... Uh, not just uh, an opinion, it's a fact. You know, that's how he feels. And that's great to know. And that's why he's going to endure and play great forever. Well, he's breaking and running out this rack. and That terrific mass A shot set up the whole rack. Yeah. Um, he's picking up right <laughs> انا الحمد لله الله وفقني وفزت البارحه في لعبه تاهيل دور ال 64 على على يعني لاعب حاليا هو رقم واحد في اوروبا المصنف الاول في اوروبا وكانت المباراه بنتيجه فصاله ومباراه صعبه يعني الشيء الوحيد اللي خلانا نقدر ننافس هؤلاء اللاعبين ابو عيسى ان احنا طورنا الجوانب الدفاعيه وطورنا جوانب السيفتي فطبعا اذا ما عندك سيفتي اليوم ما تقدر تنافس في اي بطوله صح. بهذا بهذا الليفل العالي اصلا اللاعب كابتن خالد اذا ما يلعب على خطه يعني ونازل على الطاوله ويبني له خطه معينه متى يكون دفاع متى يكون هجوم بيكون لاعب عشوائي نعم يعني انا شفت بعض اللعيبه يعني عنده مباراه سهله يخسرها والسبب هجومه نعم ما عنده دفاع يعني عنده فرصه مثلا نوضح للمشاهد عنده فرصه انه 
يسوي سنوكر اللي هو يحبي الكوره لا يروح يحاول عليها ويغامر ويخطئ ويعطي الفرصه للاعب الاخر هذا اللي احنا قاعدين نتكلم صحيح. فيه صحيح. الدفاع ما دفاع نعم لا يعني لا شك ان لا يعني هذه هذه من الدروس المستفاده واكيد ان اغلب اللاعبين المتواجدين معنا بنادي السد اعضاء الوفود العربيه او حتى الشباب اللي هوات بلياردو ما كانوا مشاركين في هذه البطوله لا شك انهم يعني ملاحظين ان ان اللعبه يعني في اعلى مستويات السيفتي والدفاع قاعد يلعبون كل اللاعبين وانه ما في مجال ابدا انك تفرط لان اللاعبين قاعد ياخذون اقام ربع فرصه يا ابو عيسى ربع صحيح. فرصه صحيح وهذا اللي شفناه من من, من شوي لما اخطا اللاعب عفر الراس في تغريده في اللعبه الكره البرتغاليه خمسه شوف اللعبه هذه يعني هذا مثال هذا كبير دفاع. نعم هذا دفاع قوي هذا مثال كبير على اللي اللي تو كنا نتكلم فيه ابو عيسى واضح مع الناس حتى ما يقدر يا كابتن يسوي جامب لا يعني مسكر عليه مسكر, مسكر عليه مسافه قريبه جدا من من البيضه راح يضطر انه يلعب الكوشن وينطر شيء ممكن يكون بالحظ لعل وعسى انه يحصل على شيء يعني بعد بس غالبا هذه اللعبات ابو عيسى تنتهي انه انه يكون في فرصه سهله للخصم انما لاحظ الاثنين والاربعه اللي بطرف الشاشه على اليمين نعم. تحت الزرقاء وال 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 والورديه هذا آه هذا بولن بس المشكله مثل ما ذكرت كابتن نعم. الاثنين والاربعه الزرقاء والورديه اللي تحت نعم هذه هم المشكله فانت الحين مهمه واحده قدام اللاعب الفلبيني اف الريس انه هو يعني يحل هالكرتين او يبعدهم او يحاول يحركهم او يفتح الكلاستر اللي بين الاثنين والاربعه وبعدين آه على امل انه هو يحصل على لعبه سهله على الاثنين بعد ما يحركها خلينا نشوف شلون راح يتجه في البيضه نعم فعلا يعني لعبه ممتازه خبرة. نعم هذه خبره يعني لعبه ممتازه حقيقه من لاعب افريز قدر انه هو يفتح الاثنين او يحرك الاثنين الكره الزرقاء لانه هو مجبر طبعا يلعب مثل ما ذكرنا ابو عيسى بالتسلسل بالتسلسل العددي من الاصغر الى الاكبر الى الاكبر الان يحتاج بعد انه يطلع بضربه ثانيه لان من الاثنين للثلاثه الامور ما راح تكون سهله مثل ما انت شايف بالشاشه كابتن نعم. وليد الاثنين بين بين الخمسه اولا اولا الاربع مضايقه في في تشاينيز. نعم في اللعب الاثنين مثل ما احنا شايفين الان يضطر انه يرفع العصا فوق مستوى الكره رقم اربعه وهذا اللي تسمى تشاينيز نعم نعم هذا خطا طبعا نعم. يعني حقيقه سلسل. مع ان البوزيشن للثلاثه جدا والله بي... والله بوزيشن مثالي اه اسكيد اخر يا ابو عيسى شفت الاعاده؟ هذا السكيد يعني حقيقه سوء حظ للمره الثانيه يا ريت المخرج يعيدها مره ثانيه شا... لاحظ لاحظ لحظه ما لمس الابيض الاثنين ابو عيسى صار في مثل يعني جنب صغير بالاثنين ما مشت الاثنين بطريقه سلسه شوف شفت شفت الجنب اللي صار بالاثنين ابو عيسى كان واضح انه صار معاه سكيد يعني هذا يضاف للسكيد اللي صار معاه يتغير شوف شفت اللعبه هذه والله الجماعه قاعد يتعازمون الظاهر والله يعني حقيقه الجماعه قاعدين يتعازمون امر غريب ليش يعني كوره والله سهله والله يا ابو عيسى امر غريب يعني صدقني هو الحين انا اعتقد ان اذا الكوره باينه كامله راح يسوي له سنوكر ولا هي سنوكر اصلا والله خلينا نشوف اذا كانت السوداء اساسا الحظ, الحظ. ايه. سنوكر ما ادري يا انا لا اشوف يعني وجهه اكيد يبتسم خلي خلينا نشوف شنو ممكن يصير لا واضح انه واضح انه هي متاحه بس هو يفكر في السته لما يبي يلعب سبيد يخلي جيس معقول ورا السته او لا لا بيوديها بالزاويه الثانيه شوف نفس زاويه اللي كان هو يحاول عليها الله يلعبك يا سلام عليك هذه اللعبات الله اللي تخلي الجمهور يسمعنا تصوير في في في, في, في الصاله الله يلعبه كبيره من اللاعب افرن يعني شيء من السحر يعني يغطي على يعني هذه الاخطاء المتكرره من اللاعب أه الكبير الخبير افرن باتريز يعني حتى تحكم التحكم اللاعب افرن رايس في الكره البيضاء اذا ما اصطدمت بكره ثانيه من مقصوده شو يخليك تستمتع صراحه حقيقه هو من اميز اللاعبين انا سبق وذكرت لك يا وليد انه هو من اميز اللاعبين فيما يخص التحكم بالكره البيضاء او بالكيو بول من اميز اللاعبين في العالم اذا ما كان الاميز على الاطلاق يعني في تاريخ البلياردو واحد من من عباقره اللعبه وكان يعني عنده قدره على السيطره على الكيو بول بشكل رهيب انما احنا شفنا بالمباراه يعني الامور مو قاعده تمشي بالطريقه يعني اللي اللي نقول والله افرن موجود بكامل يعني بكامل امكانياته ارتكب بعض الاخطاء في, في السبيد كنترول نعم ارتكب اخطاء في السبيد كنترول وارتكب اخطاء يعني في البوكيتنج انما يعني لازم نذكر انه صار مع حالتين سكيد 
يعرفون لاعبي البلياردز سكيد هو عباره عن يعني انزلاق الكره في اتجاه ما كان المفروض ان هي تذهب بهذا الاتجاه نتيجه وجود بعض الشوك مع تغير زاويتها نعم اما اما على الاوبجكت او على الكيو بول يعني كان المفروض انه هو ينتبه ويطالع اذا كان يعني يدقق كل مره اذا كان اذا تكرر يطلب من الحكم انه هو تنظيف الكور نعم, نعم وهذا حق من حقوق نعم اللاعب نعم انه ينظف الكور نعم ما هو كما هو معتاد بس بلعبه البلياردو نادر ما نشوف لاعب يقول حق الحكم نظف الكور يعني لان قد يشعر اللاعب ان الشيء هذا يعني يفقده الاندماج او التسلسل او يطلعه من الجو لان تدري لما اللاعب ينزل يكون بكامل مشاعره وحواسه موجود في هذا التسلسل من الواحد الى الاثنين الى الثلاث يخاف انه هو يوقف او او يدخل الحكم في هذا التسلسل ويحصل يعني يحصل مثلا انقطاع ذهني او صح يا اي سيرتنلي هيرد اباوت ذات راك نمبر 12 Well, he has a shot. I don't know if he can get to the two very easily because this is a thin cut and the cue ball is going to fly around and the two is sitting by the side pocket. Well, Danny, he's got a chance here, though. If he makes the one into this pocket, the cue ball runs up and back down again. If he could get into this area, that would be ideal. Yeah, he's got to not hit any balls. He's got to shoot hard. He shot your shot. Oh, he's okay. Well, no, he'd, he's like okay. Have, he'd like to have traveled just a little further, though. Yeah, but I, I would rather be shooting than have the other person shooting at this. I'm not sure. It's, he's taking his time here. Does this cut into the side? It cuts in, but it's a very thin hit. Yeah, and, you and, move that cue ball another foot, and this would be a piece of cake. Yeah. Well, the problem is falling on the three. Not making the two. If this were the nine ball, the game would be over. But he has to fall on the uh, three ball. Oh, he's going to kick. That's how thin yeah, I, it is. I, it just looks like it's right on that point. Oh, the people are going to love this, or or he's going to hate this. <laughs> How do you like that? Listen to the crowd. A little bit more magic. That is not only magic, it's creative. That is a, that's a great shot. And again, watching El Cano, he didn't budge. The expression on his face, unchanged. He expects Efren to do these kind of things. That was really creative, that shot. And courageous. Yeah. And look at the speed. It crawled, and it, it barely reached. But it fell down. These diamond billiard tables are so consistent that Reyes knows that he can play shots, that he can dip into his wealth of experience and feel comfortable. Chalk off pool table cleaner, one of the sponsors of this year's event, as is Sam Syracuse, the bar queue. I also want to thank the spider laser trainer and the chameleon rack, which we've alluded to. And, and where would they be without Simonis 860 pool cloth? The best, absolutely the best by miles. And these players are treated to conditions that, that don't get any better. And Reyes is filling the pockets on this diamond table. Three in a row. He replies quickly to Alcano's burst of four racks. Oh, he's moving the cue ball across the line. Why? He's obviously not happy with his break. Watch the nine ball, center ball of the diamond. No, he was he really up the pace. That's surprising from Efren. That's not like him. He was given out the kitchen sink, Sid. I think it's, it's a great compliment to Davis that for a lot of people's money, one of the greatest players ever, thirdly the world champion, would decide on a, a rash gambler's tactic. Why not, when you're four to up and it's a race to seven, not just play that from exactly the same place? I think he tried to 
to throw down the gauntlet to Steve, say, well, I've got you running, now I'm going to cripple you. It was, <clears throat> it was a bit of flash, a bit of psychology, and at the moment it hasn't come off. Totally agree with you. I like it. I think that'll please Davis. You know, I don't think they can work Davis out yet. I don't think Davis doesn't play a straightforward pool game. He's got a bit of everything. I still think they look at that technique and think, oh, that looks good. This man looks like he knows what he's doing. We've seen it before when they played in the round robin stage. Davis had him under it. Well, and also, Echo and Hal Laley, and occasionally Rotera in this, tried to get greedy with the pack. That's for the first time Efren's tried to get greedy from the break. Well, my wife said uh, tell her I was going to hold her for a few days. She said, take you long, John, Sydney. You're not getting any younger. Where I'm going, maybe minus five outside. It's going to be very warm on the table. Jim Rampy's in the final. A minute to Efren Reyes looking to book his place. Sweet shot from Reyes. Intended. <laughs> I don't think he's worked there for a Really don't. But in a way, it, nobody knows in the world what Efren Reyes is capable of, including Efren Reyes. He, he's like a volcano that you, you think maybe pack it in. And then you find another spurt. It's because it's a great copier. An amalgam of all the shots he's seen since he was nine. Forget your silicone pelican chip or whatever. In that guy's head is every experience of spheroids he's had since he was nine. I'm so excited, they're kicking over the Astros. Brilliant shot! Played it. That was deliberate! Yeah. <laughs> Davis left the table pleased with the shot he played. Little did he know that Efren Reyes came to the table thinking, great chance here for me. He means this to go in off the pink. He meant every millimetre of that track. Long, short, cut or thrust. And if the three musketeers had been recruiting, D'Artagnan wouldn't have got a look in. Absolute brilliant work by the world champion. That was a better shot. He had a lot of check side on that keyboard to hold it for the green six. There's not a lot in them. Just a couple of percent. It's just looking to attack. He's seen those shots before. I don't think Davis has. Because he hasn't played enough nine ball, I don't think he's seen the shots. I tell you, he admits that. His tactics, he sometimes does not understand. But then again, Efren. This is a great money player. Plays as well as he needs to. He's not one of the hardest breakers in the game, but obviously he understands what's required for each table he plays on. He was using the cut break a couple of years ago, which makes us that the, the cue ball come to the side cushion after contacting the one ball. He's not using that this time. Considering himself slightly unfortunate to have been hampered by the eight ball on this blue two. But he's got the possibility of using the eight ball to knock the blue two into the centre pocket. Yes, many players in the game feel that if Reyes does have an Achilles heel, it's in the form of his break. Mind you, you wouldn't know it after the first two he's hit here. <laughs> Very imaginative as displayed by that shot. It's 
speaking of the break again, I remember a few years back, and I think it was the year Reyes won the World Championship, he knocked in eight racks in a row against Francisco Bustamante. You've got to have a break to be able to do that. Somewhat easier to break off on the television tables when the, the cloth is very dry, no humidity in the, in the table at all and in the cloth. And I, I'm not too sure whether we've actually seen Earl Strickland uh, talking about that yet, but he's got some interesting views on the break-off shot in the World Championship. And we've been somewhat fortunate here. We haven't had any rain during play with all the doors open, and it's been very humid already. If it ever started raining, these tables might really become a little more sluggish, and certainly the throw off the cushions would change. It was the earthquakes I was more worried about, Jim. I understand they get about one of those a month here, too. And you know there's a player in the United States they call the earthquake, Keith McCready. He'd enjoy it here, and right now the enjoyment is falling on the shoulders.